So the weather is pretty foul at the moment in fact. It's been drizzling, it was snowing earlier in fact in the week. So we were talking about um, what we, I should cook in fact or bake this week and it was my suggestion that I do a fruit loaf. I think it's a good idea. But I thought I'm going to make something completely different from your usual sort of sultanas, raisins and currants. So today I thought I would do a loaf, a fruit loaf, but it's going to be cranberry, date and coconut loaf. A bit different, isn't it, in fact? So to start with, what you need is um, put your oven on. You want, you'll be using it at um, 180 degrees centigrade. You want to get a loaf tin. When you pop this in, I've used, it's brilliant actually, just use your leftover bits and pieces of your butter to actually um, butter all of that. And then um, make sure that you've got the sides overlapping because it will make it so much easier to pull that loaf out once it's baked. So I'm just going to chuck that at the back. There we go, that's all ready. So what you need in fact, and I'll let you know what all the ingredients are and everything, um, you'll need some a plain flour, good quality plain flour. So let's pop that in there, like so. I've already weighed it out. I think good quality one is much better anyway. Then we want a little bit of self-raising flour. There you go. I'm going to also add some desiccated coconut in there. I've, I've only got a little bit in fact because that's all I had and I've had trouble getting any more in fact. The usual shop where I get it from um, is uh, a little bit of a drive away so uh, I'm not driving much at the moment. And then to finish off we need a teaspoonful, get the right one here, is that half? I don't need half, I need a teaspoonful of bicarbonate of soda, so just pop that in there, there you go, that's it, lovely. So that's that, give it a little stir there. Here are the um, cranberries, just pop those in there. And what I've done, in fact, is I've just used leftover bits from Christmas, in fact. So I had some dates. Take the stones out. Um, if the stone is already removed, just cut them up with kitchen scissors and chuck them in there. You can add some nuts in there if you want, but I haven't bothered today, in fact. So just give that a little stir, like so. There we are. Oops. Try not to get it all over yourself. So that's that. Move that out of the way. Put that over there. And then you want your wet ingredients. So what we want, two eggs. I've got large eggs anyway, in fact. So um, let's put them in there, like so. I'm sure I had a whisk somewhere. Sure, I took one out. Oh, there it is over there. Right. Um, so just give that, whoops, just beat that a little bit, like so. There's not much sugar in this, um, so I've actually, you can add more if you want, but this isn't terribly sweet, which I'm glad because I just didn't want a lot of sugar. There's about four tablespoons of demerara sugar in there. So just pop that in there, give it a beat, and then for the coconut, I've already mixed up some um, coconut milk, and I've also used coconut, well I've used Greek coconut yoghurt, um, I think it's stronger than the, um, the coconut it, uh, yoghurt. I did try it before, I've made one loaf earlier or yesterday and um, it turned out that this is much better this way. So there's no no butter involved, no yeast involved. Just give it a little stir and just keep slowly adding. So you've got the wet ingredients like that. 
I hope you're all doing lots of cooking. Not much else that you can do in this weather. There we are, like so. So that is the wet ingredients ready. Oh, those are the wet ingredients ready. Let's get it right. Let's put this out of the way here. And then I'm going to take this over, like so. And then slowly just add your wet ingredients and start stirring. It should all sort of like come together. There we are. Just bit by bit. There. I think it will give it a lovely flavour, in fact. So, there them out there. There we are. If you find that you need, um, if it's not sort of like, um, you know, runny enough, this won't be runny in fact, this will, so don't worry if, um, you know, you find that it isn't, that it is quite thick. So I've got my, my trusted fork here, just keep stirring until it's ready, okay? So stir that up together. So just to go through the ingredients, you've got plain flour, um, that's about 300 grams, about 150 grams of a, a self-raising flour, a teaspoonful of bicarbonate of soda, and then I've put the desiccated coconut in, but um, I reckon about, um, I haven't used much, but if you want to put in more, if you can find somebody that sells coconut, desiccated coconut in there, then um, get it, in fact. Um, I use about 15 grams of that. Then we come to um, the, um, the dates and um, the uh, cranberries. So you're talking about uh, about 100, and, I think it's 150 uh, grams of each of those. But if you want to put in more, you can do, in fact. Um, now, what else was there? So when it comes to the uh, coconut uh, yogurt, I would use the Greek coconut yogurt rather than the normal yogurt. You know, you can get a normal yogurt and it just says um, coconut yogurt. It wasn't strong enough as far as I was concerned. And then to top that, you've got the, um, the coconut milk. So all we've got to do now is to start spooning it in. You can see this consistency. Just pop it in and I've gone over. Oh all over. Oh, I've made, I'm making a mess. Oh. <sighs> Don't make a mess like I have. Goodness sake. You will actually be able to sort of like um, use a palette knife and just flat, flatten this. There we are. Mike, you couldn't pass me a palette knife, <laughs> could you? I'm joking, he can't get to it at the moment. Anyway, there we go. So all you've got to do is flatten it a little bit, spread it out. Now, once it's in the oven at 180 degrees, you'll probably leave it there and for about um, 50 minutes, 45, 50 minutes. Remember to get a little cocktail stick and insert it in one or two places. If it comes up clean, then you're perfectly all right, in fact, um, and it's ready. But um, as I was saying, if it starts to get a little bit too brown, then just get some foil, a piece of foil, and um, spread that over, cut, uh, cut a piece over, and um, that should sort of stop it from burning. Okay, I better clear this mess up. All right. So this is now ready. So if I just cut a piece off. Ooh, look at that, that looks lovely. Cut another piece. Now you can eat it when it's um, warm, which it is still. I've taken it out. There we go. 
look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Hey, no, she. Oh, hello. <laughs> no, not for you, my darling. So um, let's just have a little bit here. It's still quite warm. There we are. Mmm, yum. <laughs> let's try a piece. Perfect. Here you are, Mike. Would you like a piece? Yeah, thank you. Mm. Mm. Oh, yum. Yeah. That's really nice, actually. Mm. Very nice. Lovely. Better. Okay. So. Hope you enjoyed that. Okay, yeah. sorry. Shouldn't be talking when I'm eating. Um, I'll think of something else for next week. And, um, or if you've got any ideas, just let me know. And um, I know that Mike's come up with one or two ideas, which I think are great. But if you've got any ideas you want to let me know, fair enough, I'll give those a whirl. And um, goodbye from me. And thank you, Mike. Goodbye mm. from Archie. <laughs> He's watching curiously. <laughs> and go um, goodbye from Archie. Goodbye, goodbye from... Our cameraman, Mike. Bye. See you next time. Bye.